On this picture, you see entrance to Gagicil's estate in uh, Napa Valley. These are our two founding fathers, uh, Milenko Mike Gagic on the left and Austin Hills on the right, a few years ago. Presentation today is about natural farming at uh, Gagic Hills Vineyard. We have uh, five estate vineyards totaling 365 acres from very south Napa called Carneros and American Canyon through Yantville, Rutherford all the way to Calistoga. First vineyard is American Canyon which is closest to the uh, Pacific Ocean and coolest. Uh, Carneros is known to be cool. This vineyard is two degrees cooler than Carneros. Then Carneros is a second vineyard, which produces a fabulous Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. Yantville is our Cabernet Jewel. Uh, it's a spectacular vineyard that, uh, that uh, yields very concentrated full body Cabernet. Rutherford is also well known, well known region to grow a great Cabernet. Calistoga might be most picturesque and most beautiful looking vineyard. Uh, this is picture from Mike's house uh, uh, and what you see here is mustard. This was picture taken in March and uh, in, at this vineyard we grow Zinfandel including Milenko's old wines that are over 100 years old. Today's topic is organic farming practices. Crux of our farming is compost pile pictured here and you see this is beginning of composting. You have straw and you don't even see much cow manure but it's in there. And that cow manure pr produces fuel and energy for bacteria that turn straw and compost into, into uh, uh, sorry, straw and cow manure into beautiful compost. This is a finished compost, typically takes 10 months and the result is in the front view. The, this is a, a compost spreader that we used after harvest to put compost over our 365 acres. Uh, example of a compost uh, spreader in the vineyard. This is cedar that we use after we put compost to put certain selection of seeds in the ground and that those seeds grow and create beautiful uh, turfy cover crop. This is uh, uh, the example of soil food web. There's many, many critters. Uh, we, we walk soil every day and nobody's even aware what's underneath uh, uh, our feet. But uh, life is so rich and all of us need to know. Everything starts with green plants, using sunlight and using carbon dioxide and water and nutrients from soil to create carbohydrates, which is base for all our food. Then we have, uh, we have animals that graze on grass and then there's predators of those animals and but you can see without green plants there's no life. One of the most important uh, critters in soil uh, are earthworms. Uh, there's some studies suggesting that the health of soil can be measured uh, in how many earthworms you find per cubic foot of soil. So the, we put major emphasis of making sure that we, we create hosp hospital and friendly environment for worms. This is an example, uh, just a shovel full of soil from our vineyard. You can see how many worms uh, are wiggling there. An example of bacteria, which is also very crucial uh, in, in turning uh, organic matter into, into humus. This, uh, this machine is called Spader. It's best machine to if you want to cultivate soil. This is an example of puppies, which are part of cover crop in our vineyards. Uh, this is mostly mustard. We don't seed mustard because it's everywhere. So once we do our own cover crop, there's always mustards uh, more or less everywhere. And they're also very useful and good cover crop. Now, sometimes you need a bit more nitrogen. These are example of bell beans. The interesting part about this plant is that uh, when you pull plant and check the roots, there is something like nodules down there, which is colonies of bacteria that, that work in symbiosis 
with this plant. Uh, so the plant gives them carbohydrates for their food and bacteria has the ability to grab uh, nitrogen from the air and turn it into nitrogen useful for plant. The plant needs nitrogen. So through this symbiosis, a uh, whole lots of nitrogen is in created in the soil. So you don't need to buy nitrogen from bag. This plant will provide for you. Uh, this is an example of, of some uh, 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 barley and other few other species. You can see this, uh, it's a red crimson uh, clover. So a combination of uh, some clover and, and, and barley. Same thing, uh, different combinations of at least three different species of cover crop. This machine is a mower, and not only it mows middles of a row, but also does, there's a left and right uh, flails that go in and out, in and around the plants, grapevines, and you can mow grass up to one inch of the plant. This is uh, the end product after machine uh, went through. You can see that uh, it's just there's a nice uh, mulchy grass left on the soil. This is a French plow that uh, we used uh, for eca, for vineyards uh, that we want to cultivate. It, it uh, cultivates around grapevines again. This is a cultivator that is used in summer to fluff and soil and to seal soil from loss of, of moisture. This is very good in old days. They would say that uh, farmers would say that one uh, one uh, uh, cultivation is good as three irrigations. So this machine preserves water, which is important for Gagachils because we are overwhelmingly dry farm. We don't irrigate. This is an example of uh, uh, polyculture and uh, insectary islands that we have every 10 acres in our vineyards. We want to attract these insects, mostly useful insects, to increase biodiversity. Another example of this would be Spanish lavender. And then uh, on the right, uh, it's a similar uh, combination of lavender and a few other, few other uh, flowering plants. Uh, we have fig trees. Uh, in, a, in a quest for biodiversity, we have many different uh, species of fruit trees. This is a fig tree. Olives, uh, important. Uh, we do make olive, beautiful olive oil, but the purpose of olives is again to enhance biodiversity in our vineyards. Bees. You have to have bees in your farm, so we have now 10 hives and we produce a good, uh, good quality honey that all our workers love. Uh, so th this is an example of our nest, our box. So we have uh, some mice in every vineyard or gophers. They are capable of damaging eating plants. Instead of spraying, killing them with, the, with poison, we elect, erect these owl boxes and owls nest there and they keep population at, at low levels. So our purpose and, and goal is not to eliminate every of these critters, but rather to keep populations in manageable numbers. This is a, a barn owl. Then uh, for insect control, we install bird boxes. These are uh, 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 specially designed bird boxes with a very small opening for this is bluebird here. So they only eat insects, up to 800 insects when they have a few chicks. This is an example of uh, uh, their eggs and hatch hatchlings. And also sometimes they, uh, they, they want to have nets in our canopies and all our workers are trained to leave them alone. They never destroy uh, any of them. Another example of uh, 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 bird box. Bluebirds, these are bluebirds, eggs and chicks, bluebirds. We also have a uh, red shoulder and red uh, uh, tail uh, hawks that patrol during day. We also have uh, uh, guinea fowl that uh, eat, they eat mostly insects and they produce uh, lots of noise and warnings in case coyotes want to attack our chickens. We have lots of rabbits, which we call small cows, because they also have four, uh, four stomachs and they eat grass and leave droppings, so it comes handy. Uh, we have over 100 chickens that uh, also eat insects and produce good eggs. and we, They serve as also biodiversity in, in, from animal kingdom. 
This is example what happens when you do everything right in terms of farming. This is a 58 year old uh, Cabernet plant uh, in Yantwell that uh, is virtually dry farm and produces outstanding quality and the health of this plant is un unbelievable. So this is what gets us going here when you see this ancient plant in such a good health. Uh, that all this hard labor that you put in pays off. Another example of uh, this vineyard, but this would be a spring break, bud break in spring. Uh, this is uh, 100 and probably 10 year old Zinfandel plant in Kalistoga. This is from Milenko's vineyard in Kalistoga. And this would be example of night picking. Uh, Charlene night picking in American Canyon. Cabernet picking in Yantwell. The purpose of organic farming is ultimately to create beautiful wines with harmony, elegance and balance. We know that organic farming is helping us to achieve our goal. So our goal is not to make perfect wine, but rather make unique wine that speaks about where these wines came from. Terroir is very important for us, and you can only talk about terroir if you grow grapes organically.